Third date. The third date. The third date is, you know, the make it or the break it day. Most guys are set to give it up on the third date. The third date is the hot and heavy date. Definitely the sex date. The third date, it's a magical date. Third date, you pretty much make it or break it. It's like a little bubble in a glass of champagne. What are you looking at? I just want to take a little sip, <laughs> have a little fun. She looks really, really good. She got on some leather pants. And she don't know, but I got this thing about leather pants. Man, I mean, it's like such a turn on because leather is real hot, so I know what's going on down there. It's like really hot things going on. His name is Giovanni. Oh, yeah. My idea of a, of a date is like, Smoking weed and safe sex to D'Angelo. Hi, I'm Tom. This is my house. We rented in uh, East Hampton. These are the boys playing a little uh, badminton. They're whacking the bird around. Everybody's not here. There's probably about 12 of us in on the house. Mostly couples, except for myself and Steve. Everybody's into activities. Everybody's pretty athletic, so there's always something fun going on. My name's Erica. This is our third date, and I'm in the Hamptons. When I met him, he was doing the chicken dance. I was in Luna Park, um, hanging with a couple of friends. Some song came on. I see this guy waving his hands in the air. I did like my patented chicken dance. I was like, look at the guy doing the chicken dance. Right down there, I knew she was cool. Right down there. All right, ready? Now we're going to the pool. Check him out in a bathing suit. Scope him out a little bit. I can't wait to see him in his little, uh, hopefully it's chunks, not a speedo. When he first sees me, knowing him, he's probably gonna run up and grab me. Juliet! I just moved up here six weeks ago. I'm a beach baby from South Florida. What are you looking at? So I'm fresh meat from New York. Oh, thinking about <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I own a bar called Tammany Hall. I do a little writing on the side. I'm 21, I go to school. I teach aerobics. I also work at Hooters. I consider myself a Hootsie Mama. A little young, but I think I'll be able to handle it. Oh, God, this moment, <laughs> it's so special. At this moment, <laughs> this is our first corona together ever. I'm really turned on by the body. <laughs> I sound like a guy, but you know what? I know what I want, and when I see something I want, I go for it. Oh, Tom. When I first got here, I was very overwhelmed by men. How could a tongue not be hanging out for all these stuff? Like a kid in a candy store. I was like, yes. The dumbest thing I ever did. You don't bring your third date in front of your five hottest, best-looking guy friends. Yeah, third date. You're the third. All right. <laughs> Caroline, who was like gourmet chef of love, whip up a little chicken, steaks nice, a little rice pilaf. What's hotter, the grill or my date? It's all about me, baby. <laughs> She's like a little bubble in a glass of champagne, you know? Just want to take a little sip, have a little fun. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it is what, uh, what it's all about, I think, at this point in the juncture. I hope to be unpeeling something else a little bit like this later on. A banana? <laughs> so much sexual innuendo going on around here, I can't take. <laughs> we had a very nice dinner. It was, it was actually kind of nice, you know, it was kind of like, like a home-cooked meal. My favorite part of the date when we were in the pool, and I was sitting on the raft. He was sitting right there, and he was like up close and personal. One of the first like intimate moments that we really had, like we were really talking, we shared things. <gasps> there she is. Let's see your ass. Come on. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Don't get me. We'll see you later. Oh, you'll see it later. But you'll see it now. What's gonna happen on the date tonight is I'm gonna go to a party. Uh, it's a friend of mine, client, beautiful home. She's gonna have a live band. She's gonna entertain us. Now this party we're going to, everyone's expecting you. They're so happy to meet you. Really? Oh yeah. Aw, you told them that I was coming. Of course. They can't wait to meet you. <laughs> Let's put a pattern a little bit. <laughs> we'll see where how it goes. She seems like a little aggressive. You have to take it easy on this one. 
she's all woman. That's just the way it is, you know? He was dancing all over the place. This cat is a wild child. You gotta play with him a little bit. Let him run. Let him go. Go. Tire him out. Is it all that? Is it everything you dreamed it to be? Your third date experience? I can't take this anymore. I really can't. Check, please. We have to bid our farewell to you guys, but the two of us, I promise you, are going to carry the ball and you know, touchdowns for everybody. It's good. And uh, I don't think too much is going to happen tonight, to be honest. Take it a little slow and take it easy. Take her home like a gentleman. You know, tuck her in, lay on the couch. It's not going to be like some groping animal. Um, um. <laughs> turn ons, sundresses. Big boobs. Those are definitely turn on. It's looking good. I think that, like, I might really go in for that kiss. That's what I was thinking. I was like, well, I was leaving the restaurant, I was getting a little smell of her hair. I'm feeling it. I kind of lied about my age to Christy. I'm 34 years old. I should be able to demand safe sex. I said I was a little older than I actually am. I think the third date consists of um, sex. <laughs> if you make it to the third date, she's yours. Yeah, well, okay, my name is Kiri, like the Erie Canal with a K, not Kerry, because Kerry is a girl's name. So, you know, when I was younger, it used to bother me a bit because, um, you know, you used to get teased because they say, oh, you, you have a girl's name. Hi, I'm Keisha. This is my son, Jalen. Hi. This is my daughter, Alexandra. Hi. She has children. And, um, you know, usually in that, in that situation, it may scare me off a little bit because I do not have children. And I don't want to judge her for her kids. I'm going to judge her for herself and see what happens. Generally, as a guideline, um, I wait until I've known somebody pretty close to a year before I introduce them to my children. Hi. This is my brother. His name's Jalen. We just like to play with each other because we are happy to be together, right? Right. Okay, I'm leaving. Be a good listener. Go potty. Go to bed. Brush your teeth. Okay. All right? Because you're past bedtime. It's 8.15. All right, goodbye. Go to bed. Love you. And don't have any accidents. OK? Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, go potty. We met at a place called the Chelsea Lounge. She asked me how was the club. So I mean, she initiated the conversation, which gave me the open chance to, to see what she was about. So you know, I, I told her that I wasn't really feeling the club, but I was feeling her. Here we go. He's cute. And that's him calling now. <laughs> you can get it. Hi, Keisha. Oh, this is Kerry. All right, I'm just letting you know that I'm on my way. See if you go on your way. I'm almost on my way. Making sure you're not going to front on me tonight. Almost on your way. You're not going to front on me, are you? And that was Kerry making certain I wasn't going to stand him up. She likes me, I could tell. <laughs> Well, one rule that I have to, if you date me, you, you must kiss on the first date, and, and you must come back to my house on the second date. And Keisha's an exception. I don't know what happened there, how I'm going on this third date, and she hasn't been to my house yet. 9.05, she's not here yet, but, you know, I'm not upset, because that's just like a woman. I hope I have enough lipstick on. She looks really, really good. She got on some leather pants. And she don't know, but I got this thing about leather pants. 
man, I mean, it's like such a turn on because leather is real hot, so I know what's going on down there. It's like really hot things going on. Yeah. So you look good. Thank you. <laughs> so you're telling me I'm supposed to put this whole thing in my mouth. I'm doing this because I like it. I still like you though. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's looking good. I think that like I might really go in for that kiss. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I was leaving the restaurant, I was getting a little smell of a hair. I'm feeling it. I'm used to generally dating men that are a little bit more sophisticated and not as playful, but have more of a serious side that they're comfortable with. Do you usually date tall guys? I think I normally date tall guys. Normally like 6'1", 6 6'2", that's about the average. Well, because that's, that's, that's me, yeah, 6'2". I'm 6'2". You are? Yeah. Why, did I seem shorter than that? You do seem shorter than that. Oh. I figured you were like 5'11", 5'10". Are you serious? I'm 6'2". And it's the baggy pants. I knew I should have worn my slacks. I got like... Baggy pants. If I wore my slacks, then I would have looked like 6'4", because they're like really tight. I'm not looking at this as a make or break date. He seems to be fun and we're taking it easy. It's the third night date now. It's time. It's time. I think I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna move in today. I'm gonna move in for at least a kiss, you know? See see what's going on there. Because you know that's why that's how you find out if the attraction's there or not. It's important that I make my move today because I could be stifling myself and I could put myself in this friend zone where I mean, Keisha, they're just friends. I don't want to be there. She didn't tell me that she was like a professional, and she was on the team, and she used to go to air hockey camp. All right, so uh, it was nice. I had a good time. I think Carrie's a lot of fun. Um, but I don't think that I like Carrie in like a dating type of way. So, so I'm at the end of the date told me that, uh, that things aren't going to work out. So um, I can't see myself really calling back. Actually, all in all, Carrie wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Bar barcode saved the night. In, in the dating game, there's a he heck of a lot more misses than hits, you know? So I think this one was a miss. My biggest turnoff is bad teeth. Like, I can't look at someone who has bad teeth, and I can't be expected to spend an entire night with them. One of the biggest turn-ons is, like, being with a man, you're going at it, it's all hot and heavy, ha, 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 and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he has a condom on. first two dates, you totally lie your way through the dates. But by the third date, you're going to get caught. The worst lie I've ever told on a date was my age and how much money I made. I lied by about five years and $15,000. The best lie that I've ever told is a I love you line. You have to use it every so often. You got to go in bed. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Christy. Um, I'm from Indiana. I've been living in New York a long time now. Um, I'm about to go on my third date. His name is Giovanni. He's an actor, but I think he's also a model. And he showed me this composite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're about to go putt-putt and have brunch on a Sunday. And I have to say that it's very much a new it's going to be a new adventure for me because my idea of a, of a date is like, <laughs> I don't know, 
smoking weed and safe sex to D'Angelo. You know what? The funny thing is that even though we, we've hung out two times, I don't know a lot about her, you know? So it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting, I guess. One of the biggest turn-ons is like being with a man, you're going at it, it's all hot and heavy, hot, 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 and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he has a condom on. I kind of lied about my age to Christy. I'm 34 years old. I should be able to <laughs> demand safe sex. And I said I was a little older than I actually am. I'm really 20. I'm going to tell it to her, you know, and see how she feels. You know, we're trying to have a nice little Sunday day date here. I would be much more natural and comfortable with, you know, sleeping together right away. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so serious. I'm just trying to deal with it. You know what, I'm gonna do some push-ups right now. Hold on. <laughs> How are things? Is you okay? He smells so good. Like, like not cologne, nothing like that. Just him, you know? <laughs> like, oh my God. I think there's a little spark there, you know? I think there's a little spark and we can probably work with that and, and see where it goes. You asked about my age, and, and I just have to be honest with you, I, I lied to you. Yeah. I don't know, is that a big issue or, I mean, how do you feel about that? Um. You know, I want you to be honest with that, seriously. Well. I mean, would you stop being my friend because I'm 20? No, no, I just, I'm embarrassed that I even asked you, and then curious why you lied. So obviously Christy has a problem with it, with the whole age thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's like playing with me or not. He's a little bit like on and actorly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's just a little prank. It's just a little, you know, just having a little fun. You okay with that? Yeah. What do I think about the age thing? Well, for starters, I don't even know if it's true, you know? You never answered my question. I was asking you about when was the last time you had sex? The last time I had sex was last night. Really? Yeah. How do I feel about her having sex last night with her ex-boyfriend? I'm okay with that, you know. Why should I? Sh why should that bother me? I don't know. I was just hoping that you might be the one that would be able to show me the ropes. About what? Just what sexually. Ropes? Sexually. Well, what I'm saying is that I was hoping that you can basically help me out with this little issue that I've had. You know? I, ha I haven't had that much experience with having sex. I've had sex like twice. I'm not comfortable with the idea that I'm this showing you the ropes, Mrs. Robinson. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, but I, I mean, need to make it sound like that. But... Yeah, we can totally find our way. I'm not into all the talk, talk, talk. If I kiss you right now, would that be okay? <laughs> You're so crazy. Yes, it would be okay. What, what the... <laughs>
I would have done a lot more, you know, given the opportunity. As far as having a fourth date, I think, yeah, I think, I think she's okay with it, so. And you are okay. I'm, I'm definitely okay with it. So maybe we'll catch a movie or something and, and see how she feels about that. You know, judging by the way things went, I, I don't think there should be a date for it. I, I feel like a really big test is like, if you feel, if you're with someone and you feel more lonely, that's a sign, you know, like, go with that sign.